My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will take a look at a really cool thing that's a Google Speech to Text and Text to Speak conversion powered by machine learning. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. With that said, let's get started. So head to UiPath, click Manage Packages, click the All Packages and search for Google Speech. <clears throat> Install it and click Save and I think you need to click I accept here and then we can go to our browser. So uh, you need uh, a Google Cloud account and you need to enable it. And I've done that here and then go to APIs and Services, click the library and uh, here you can see all the APIs. I think we will take the speech, the um, text to speech API, so click that. Click enable. And after we are we have enabled it, then click credentials here. And uh, choose the create credentials service account. And then then we can um, take a name, we'll call that UI path maybe. And then uh, click create. Click continue. We can uh, change settings, but we won't do it here. And now we created it. So uh, click it again and then click create key. Take the JSON, that's the one that's uh, default. Click create and uh, we download it uh, here to our computer. I'll choose to uh, remove it. Mm -hmm. I'll choose to, hold on, move it. So um, I have it in this Google Speech folder, which I just created, that's on my desktop. So we're done here in this browser. Let's go to uh, UiPath. Then we can search for Google. And we can see this uh, Google Speech here. We have this speech to text and text to speech. Let's try the text to speech first. We um, can click it and we can see we get some settings here. First, we have a language code, then we have a service account file, this is gist file, and then the uh, test and text. So let's create some variables. We can also hard code it in up here, but I think we'll create variables. So uh, str language. Um, this one will be our language. Let's try to uh, write some English first, which is uh, this 120 languages. So that's a lot here. We can see the code is here. You can uh, search for the, uh, this speech to text. Um, you can search for it um, um, at Google. So uh, yeah, let's go back. And then we will, uh, so the language, the default value of our variable will be ENGB. That's the Great Britain. And then we will create a variable for our uh, file, um, our service account file. So that one will be the account file. And uh, go to the folder and shift right click and then copy as path and um, I think we just we can just paste it in yeah it's quotation marks and then we can have our uh, text Still text and this one could be hello viewers are you having a good day like this now we can fill in the, the variables up here so this one will be the str language this one will be the str account file and this one will be the str text. So now we can try it. Hello viewers, are you having a good day? <laughs> Ain't that cool? We can even um, we can change the language to Danish because that's the one of the languages I know. So this one is uh, DADK here. So we just uh, change the value of the variable to DADK, like this, and then we need to write in some Danish. So this one could be Til hejser derude til dem, der til dem, der ser med, har I en god dag. That means um, probably something like similar to the run we wrote before, but let's try it. This was in Danish, um, and we can even um, we can even uh, change it to some other languages. But now I think we uh, got this. 
So let's move on to the speech to text. That's maybe more fun, I think. Now we can head to our browser again and then click APIs and services here. Then we go to library, search for speech again. This one is getting, oh, sorry. This one is getting really cool. So take the cloud speech to text API, enable it. And now we're done here because we got, we still got the account. So um, let's uh, delete this text to speech and take the uh, speech to text like this. We can set a confidence interval uh, between one, uh, zero and one because how accurate it should be. I think we'll just take 0.7. Then we can take a language that will be Danish first. We will take AND this afterwards. And then the service account file will be the same as before, like this. And now we can start up um, and see what's happening. And the uh, path will start up, So, but you need to find this uh, speech recognition tab here. So now we click start. Heise derude. Har I en god dag, eller hvordan står det til? I ønskes alt det bedste herfra. Dette er en test. Then we click stop. And um, now what we do here is that we, we can see that uh, we um, created it. So we go to um, output and we can see that it, it, it even says Hej så derude. Har I en god dag eller en i I ønskes alt det bedste herfra. Dette er en test. We could save uh, this text to a variable and work with it. This was actually really good. It's 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 actually really good in English. In Danish, we can try that in English too. So let me uh, hide this, and um, let's find the language code for English first. Before we took British English, right now let's take U.S. English. Um, it's here. And remember, my English is probably not as good as my Danish, so um, this one will be, um, it could be uh, inaccurate. And then we can try to run it again. Uh, your path will run. We need to click start here. Click start. Hello viewers, are you having a good day? How, what time is it in your country? This was just some random thing I just uh, got out. I could have easily said something more exciting. We can go down to output and uh, kick stop. Uh, that was something I said in the beginning. And um, hello viewers, are you having a good day? Uh, what time is it in your country? So that one is, is working fine too. This is a really cool thing. We'll be I'll be making some more videos with it. This was just a short intro on how you set it up and how you use it. If you like the video, um, you can um, give it a thumbs up because that will will help me a lot. And uh, have a good day. That's it for now. Bye bye.